What's up, guys? Welcome to another LSPDF4 episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. Parker Ranger Saturday. And today we'll be using this uh, off road Jeep over here. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, let's get started, man. And I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Because, man, I remember my Saturday used to be cartoon. Like, early morning cartoon. Just, you know, get some cereal, sit back, relax. No school. Just enjoying some cartoon, bro. The lights look something like this. Let me know what you guys think. And the takedown lights. Hashtag on point, man. Emergency production been on point lately, like for real. As far as like the vehicle, all the stuff that we get. And also, I'll leave the link to their Patreon, also their website, under this video description, of course. But right now, let's let's get let's just get started. <laughs> and also, let's put ourselves available for calls. Dispatch, show me 10 8. 10 4, 10 8. All right, so just like we usually do, we usually watch out for the fishermen and the hunters. And, you know, just people around here just making sure this is a safe trail. Um, no animal on the road. We usually have like mountain lions around here. And I could just, man, Park Ranger, Park Ranger have actually a cool job. Like, I, I used to think, like, the Park Ranger, I'm like, yo, they usually don't do anything and stuff like that. But I'm starting to see like the difference, like after doing park ranger for so many years too, and you get a chance to just hang out, like you know, around these trails and just do your thing, man. And uh, hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday. Um, definitely let me know what you guys usually usually do with your Saturday, man. My Saturday, like in my younger days, of course, I used to just you know enjoy early morning, early morning cartoon, just you know chill, eating some cereals. And then after that, I hang out with the boys. Either we play basketball, go to the park, or you know, just do something for the day. And I remember um, that I used to, I used to live in Georgia, of course. And uh, my uncle used to just drop a drop us off at Six Flag, and then pick us up like later that day. <laughs> like drop us off, meaning um, my cousin, my cousin. I still call him brother though. My cousin Gene used to be like the oldest one, so he's he's the one responsible for all of us. So every hour we have to like come back to him and like check in. We used to have that spot like we come back to him, check in, and make sure everybody's okay. If somebody is did not come back in that hour, something is wrong. So we would have to like look for that person and stuff like that. So we used to have it used to be like at least ten, eleven of us. Yeah, man, we used to be chill though. Everybody was responsible. That's that's one thing I feel like my uncle taught us, like how to be responsible at an early age and stuff like that. But right now we're going to check on these fishermen and uh, yeah, let's see if they got the licenses. This is it. I mean, it was a nice day, man. Today's raining, by the way. I mean, for me, because I'm in Georgia. Hey, how you guys doing, man? Stop. Can I can I see some fishing license? Ah, uh, we got some unknown, unknown trouble. All right, this special survive with a little no information. Respond to the scene to investigate. All right, um, all right, man. Uh, you good to go? I gotta go. I gotta go. This is a warning. When this special get good information like that, they kind of leave me on a like. I don't know. Like I, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so either it's around this way or it's around that way. So. We might have to just go around. Unknown trouble. Can you imagine an officer answering to something like that? I don't know how would I feel, man. All right, but we got to be on the lookout though at all time. This jeep is on point though. Okay. I mean, I don't mind. I told you guys I took my G wagon on a on an off road. <laughs> Yes, I took my G wagon on an off road and I broke an axle, bro. I mean, that was a couple months ago. Uh, it's already fixed. It's already back on the road. It's already like, yeah, everything is fixed. But it was my fault because I was I was trying to push it. There was this guy with a Jeep too, like was just trying to push it. I know he was probably laughing at me. He's like, aha, you broke your axle, bro. <laughs> it was my fault because, man, I was trying to like push this thing to his limit. And uh, yeah, it happens, man. Talking about push things to the limit. Um, uh, I guess yeah, it's it's something that happened. 
I usually don't race people like uh, so there was this back road that I know no cars drive there and uh, this guy been pushing it. He's like, yo, my Hellcat this and that. I know he did some modifications to his Hellcat. So we both I know this off road. I mean, not off road, but this back road. Nobody's never there. There's no cars there. You know, that's somewhere we usually take our car and just have fun with it. So, yeah, I went over there and uh, unlucky me. I won the race, of course. I won the race because, uh, yo, it's, it's really hard to put unless it's like a stock GTI. This patch was provided with no information. Yeah, I know. Like, we're looking around right now. What's happening? I'm just giving you guys some story time. Yo, we got two people walking. It looks like you're about to fall. I hope they don't fall. They just on their phone. There's usually nobody around here. Hey, how you guys doing? Excuse me. Wait, wait, what's the other guy? Ma'am, ma'am, stop, stop, stop. Don't move. Stop, stop. Hey, buddy, you too. Hey. Yo, 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 stop. Chill right here, man. Let me get some ID. So since this patch just had to call us over here. I hope they don't have warrants or anything like that. Ma'am, do you have any ID on you? Like at this moment? I appreciate that. All right, Eva. Eva Mayors. All right. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be right back. I'm just checking IDs, maybe. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Somebody had a warrant. Somebody had a warrant. All right. Uh Miss I mean, Eva. Question for you. Do you do you know about your warrant by any chance? Yeah, you do have a warrant, ma'am. Yo, look at that deer. Look at that. Oh, two of them. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. Yo, there's another deer that went down. Oh man. Y'all need to chill. All right, ma'am. Um at this point I'm placing you under arrest. Can you turn around for me, please? Can you turn around? Oh shoot. I knew she was gonna run. Ma'am, ma'am. Oh shoot. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, she's rolling. All right, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Do not move. Put your hands up. That was just a push. I did not punch her or anything. By the way, guys, I am coming down with a cold. <laughs> My voice is probably a little different. Um, can we get some units over here though? No, no, wait, yo, why is this glitch keep happening to me? I right, I can't really get a unit to get her, but let's get a let's get a backup unit over here. All right, what about you, buddy? Do you do you have some idea on you? I'm still looking around for this unknown trouble. I mean, it looked like it might be them, but still. All right. All right. All right, man. You good to go, man. Have a nice day. Next five five nineteen eighty five. Whoa, why they send me SWAT? Hey. What's up, man? Y'all good? I guess SWAT is around the block. Yeah, we can't really take her because she's glitch. All right, you guys are good to go, man. I don't know. I'm still gonna check around the block, see what's going on over here. But we're good to go. I guess that was you guys shoot. They sent me SWAT. All right. But well, I'm probably doing an operation over here. Uh -huh. I gotta call animal control for this deer right here. The deer that ain't make it. I'm dispatched. Can I get an animal control to my location, please? All right, so we'll still be checking around the area. But anyway, back to story time. This back road that I know. Yes, yes, I already told you guys. And uh, what is this guy doing over here? Oh, oh, that's animal control. <laughs> what this trailblazer? Is that a trailblazer? Like an old trailblazer? Is it now? No, not that. Oh my god. We talking about this one right here. This guy took out another one. Yo, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Wait, is it just Blazer? I thought it was like Trailblazer. So this is like the old school one. This guy took out one of man. I'm I mean this. I gotta call another one. Let me see. All right, there we go. That's animal control. 
This guy want to take this. All right, they'll be here. And hashtag you guys didn't see that one. This is a blazer. I don't know why I always call it trailblazer. I mean, you guys know the trouble. Oh, this did this one make it? All right. Anyway, this badge show us uh, code four. Copy that. Code four. Back to it. Yeah. So um. Anyway, back to story time, right? Yeah. So we decided to do this. Yo, what is this? Thing looks nice though. Still, so we need a plate. We need a visible plate. He does not have a visible plate. But um, yeah. So we decided to do this. I won. Yes. I just y'all is just me, man. It's it's really hard. This is why I don't even race nobody anymore. Unless like it's like a 1600 and up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have like a challenge, but it's not even worth it. Most of these guys usually like you need some serious money to for them to even bring out their car. All units. We've got a possible disturbance. Solicitation. All right. I guess we'll go in town. To the location and remove the solicitator. All right, so um, yeah, you don't have no plates, but I'm not really gonna bust. I, I don't know. I'm not really gonna push that. Let's get going. Yeah, talking my story time. Yes, the cop. There was a cop. There was a cop that we passed. We both realized we passed them. Both of us pull over. The cop was pretty cool. Thank God. <laughs> Cause I was like, man, I usually don't do this, but this back road is always like, you know, the lucky spot where we just have fun and just chill. And uh, yeah, he was there. I don't know if he was his, on his lunch break. He didn't expect us. We didn't expect him. And uh, two loud cars just passing by, mad loud. Thank God he did not call back up. But he gave us a lecture, of course. I'm not even gonna say the stuff that he said to me, but. Yeah, definitely learned my lesson on that one. That's that was the only back road that I know. This is why I usually don't push my car anywhere else. But it was like, man, unless I'm on a track or something like that. But I was like, yeah, this is it. I'm, and I told the guy like, yo, I usually don't do this. And another reason why I don't do this, because man, when it comes to like racing and stuff like that, man, you'll do some time <laughs> like for real. These cops do not play. And I was happy. It was a cool cop. He definitely gave us a lecture and plus he saw like, you know, how I was and stuff like that. It doesn't matter if you have control over your car, man. It's just it's still it's still risky, bro. You never know. You never know. That's why they have the track. The track do have like an emergency system where they have a f the firefighters ready in case something happened because you never know, man. You might think you have control of your car. Talking about having control of cars. Um. I don't crash like that, but I watch people crash all the time. Whereas, like, they expect like they're gonna be have like, they're gonna do like the best and stuff like that. And uh, you know, let me head over that code too. Yeah, just get out of my way. And uh, yeah, sometimes you think like you are in control, man. A call could really, could really embarrass you. I had some cars embarrass me. My Mustang never. So the crazy part is, I see Mustang embarrass a lot of people. My Mustang, I don't know. It's like you gotta have respect for that pedal, and you you just gotta respect the Mustang, bro. My Mustang never embarrassed me. My Infinity actually embarrassed me more than my my actual Mustang. And uh, even my Nissan embarrassed man. Yeah, I had a couple of those Mustang time, but my, I don't know. My Mustang was not that like I don't know. I didn't have no GT350 or anything like that. It was my five. Oh, we got a call. Animal control. Bro, really? Really? Nah, I'm gonna pull him over for this. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to run away right now. He's trying to run away. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. Leaving the scene of an accident. We'll get animal control after if the um the deer's still there. I'm gonna pull him over for Getting into an accident, he know he got into an accident. Now he's trying to like flee the scene. Come on, truck. You know it's you. You know it's you, bro. Yeah, come on. All right, let's go. What we got over here? 
second license plate. Zero eight, Edward. Dave. Union five zero three. No ten ninety nine. All right, Josh Karen. How you doing, man? License, registration, and approval insurance, please. All right, we can smell narcotics coming from the vehicle. Miss Karen. I mean, Mr. Karen. <laughs> Mr. Karen, what's going on, man? Have you been have you been drinking by any chance? You had one shot of vodka an hour ago, okay? Drugs, anything that I should know about? Yeah, you need to answer that, man. Where you headed to? Just going to the grocery store with a truck? Alright. A loaded truck? <laughs> All right, so um, let me see. All right, uh, I'm trying to figure out what can we, other than recklessly. All right, you, that was reckless what you just did back then, man. You gonna hurry to the hospital? I thought you was going to the grocery store, man. I'm I'm not I'm not getting none of your stories right right now, man. Can can you just shut down the truck for me, please? Sir, 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 sir. I'm trying to work this out with you right now, man. Can you shut down the truck, please? He's refusing, guys. Sir, shut down the truck, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, can you step out the truck, please? All right, now for my safety and your safety, I'm just going to pat you down, making sure you don't have any weapons on you because I'm, I'm not trying to get stabbed, shot, or anything like that. So just turn around and put your hands up, please. Turn around, put your hands up. Sir, stop, stop. Oh my god, you're gonna get both of us killed, man. There you go. That's what you get. That's what you get. Alright, now get up, put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up. Do not move. Do not move, man. Stop playing with me. Get on the ground. Freeze, jerk off. Oh my goodness, he's doing that TikTok dance again. Alright. He did he is getting on the ground. Alright. There you go. Oh my goodness. Man, you going to jail, man. Not only you ran over that deer back there, but you were driving under the influence. What's wrong with you, man? Now what you had on you that you feel like you had to run? What you had on you, buddy? Bone with white powder residue. No wonder. I miss Kier I mean Mr. Kearing. Oh my god, why well, I don't know why I keep saying this. Uh Mr. Mr. Kearing. Um Turn around for me, please. I don't know what he was on though. What you guys think? No, nah, let me not even ask that. <laughs> I don't know what was he. What was he on though? So Thanks. we'll figure this out. Ah, uh, party boy over here. Were you drinking too? We're gonna breathalyze you too. Breathalyze your forehead, <laughs> yo. Alright, he was not drinking. Oh, dispatch, can I get a transport to my location, please? Alright, come on, Mr. Karen. Come on. We got state troopers. Alright. Good day. Good day to you, too. Your glass piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, one thing I just realized, my battery just down my controller. It is what it is. I'm just gonna try to like get it back now. I was like, yo, why am I stuck right here? All right, so it should be reconnecting right now. All right, <laughs> yo, my battery just down my controller. All right, we got it. Let's search the truck though. So that's one thing. I think I'm going back to rechargeable batteries. I've been doing like these Duracell and. Energy batteries and stuff like that, but they goes out. They go out so fast for your Xbox controller. All right, so let's get um the company. This company, Skyver. Gotta figure this out. But my batteries have been dying so fast now, for real. All right, we back at it, guys. All right, anyway. Let's go back to um, our call, which we were supposed to answer a long time ago. But um, yeah, just like I said, I was heading over there, code two, until this deer got ran over by somebody, and uh, we were forced to just follow him again, bro, bro, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. 
They're going to have to call another park ranger. I'm going for my call because dispatch already got me connected to this call. I am going to this call right now, but I hope you guys are all having a great Saturday, man. You cannot make this up. And this is why I still play LSVF. This this thing is always fun, man. You never know what you're going to run into, man. Right? But um, this call we've been trying our best to get to, which we are finally making it over here. Holy. Come on, people. Who's this dude? All right, sorry, caddy. Just get out of my way. All right. What is it? I ain't homeless. I just need what? What he said? All right, man. Yo, they need you to move, man. I don't want you to get hit right here, buddy. Can I talk to him? Man, you can't hit me with a quarter. You'd be knocked out if we hit you with a quarter, man. All right, man. I know you probably don't have no idea or anything like that. You want me to? You want me to bring you somewhere right now, man? We'll get some lunch. All right. Do you have any? One thing I have to do. Do you have any weapons on you, man? I just want to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Anything that can stab me or anything like that. Large scale. I don't think I could check that. All right, all right, come on, come on, follow me, bro. Follow me. All right, buddy, I'm about to go to lunch in a minute. I just gotta check that lost guy I found on you, though. Look at that. Like, right, come on, man. What were you thinking? I don't think I could check that. Yeah. All right, all right. That lost girl. I'm, I'm gonna disregard that, man. Come on, come on, let's go, man. We about to go to lunch. On me. Actually, I have to put him in the vehicle. All right, come on. You don't have to follow me anymore. Um, put in the front seat. No, not in the back seat. I was trying to put you in the front seat. I, I hate when somebody sit behind me unless like the car is full, man. Get out, get out. Whatever you own right now, I don't really care. I'm just trying to get you right, man. Come on. My shift is about to be over too, and I hope you guys are having a great Saturday, man. All right, so let's see. Can I put him in the front seat? I'm just trying to put him in the front seat. We're about to go for a ride, man. We're going to have a talk, all that. See, maybe if I can help. If I can't, I understand. I help you as far as I can. All right, now you're about to have lunch on me. And uh, guys, I think this is going to be my last call for today, man. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday or whenever you guys are watching this. Of course, for me and George, it's raining. So I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things that I have to do. I, you know, I don't like when it's raining like that when I have to be outside, but it is what it is, man. It happens. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Me and this dude, we, I'm about to give him some. I'm about to get him some lunch. We'll have a talk and figure out if I could help out or not. But other than that, he's talking about he's not homeless. I could tell, bro. Come on, man. Chill out with that, bro. But yeah, man. I hope you guys are having a great day. I want you guys watching this. And uh, you know, this uh, there's a thing that I always do where I try to do something for somebody without expecting anything in return. And I kind of feel like this is something that we're doing in the game right now. We're gonna do something for this guy today without expecting anything in return. And uh, yeah, I think this is it for our Saturday, man. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.